Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Darkest Dungeon. I tried a bunch of things to get my mouse pointer to show up. You'll just have to trust that I'm aiming it where I'm trying to aim it. Use screen capture, game capture, windowed mode, and full screen mode. There's probably a fix, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. In any case, can we buy anything from our Nomad Wagon? No, we can't nearly afford that. We could really use a vessel showing up. I think we've gotten all of ours killed so far. We have, we have to be able to upgrade something with 28 busts and 19 crests. I'm assuming that we can upgrade at least more our more of our abbey here. So yeah, sure, let's make the cloister better and let's make the penance hall better and that's icons, relatively and decent. Does our abbey look better as time goes on? I've never actually thought about that. Atomic and maybe we want to, just, just to be safe, send Mathis 2.0 in for stress relief. He did just have some stress relief. And this is going to cost us more money than it's probably worth, but I'm going to throw him in there for 850. 850 gold when we can afford it. Sure, I can live with it. Let's see what we got here. We got a medium kill the necromancer that scares the shit out of me. A medium explore 90% of rooms. And a short level level 5. Probably not that interested in that. Uncommon dark bracer gives you it kind of nerfs you in the light, but Makes you awesome in the dark. I think we're just going to try to do another medium run. Uh, explore 90% of rooms. Not the greatest rewards, but that's okay. We'll send our A team out here to get some experience. That includes you, Bear Taffy. Kate's going to be here. Do we need a Crusader and a, a Hellion? Or would we, would we be better off with a Crusader and a Highwayman? What can't the Crusader do in the front slot? Basically nothing. Oh, it actually is better in the second slot because you can use Holy Lance to hit the units at the back. We'll experiment with this. Where does Nick like to be? He prefers to be in the third slot, and I'm all, honestly all right with that because that lets Bear stay in the back slot, um, which allows him to use all of his abilities except Hands from the Abyss, which is uh, admittedly okay, and uh, Sacrificial Stab. So he'll he'll pretty much exclusively be a healer, whereas Nick in the third slot can't use he can use everything in the third slot yeah we'll put him in the third slot in the fourth slot what can't you use Nick if you can use everything in the f oh you can't use incision it's the remix to incision hot and fresh out the kitchen rockly rolling that body got every ghoul in here wishing sorry got every ghoul here vanishing there we go all right so I think this is a pretty good layout this is our quote-unquote a team Let's provide for them, shall we? We did really well with provisions on the last mission. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. Okay. I think we took 12 food. Or maybe 16. And then we definitely took 16 torches. We took two shovels. I think that's a good amount just in case. We're going to take one anti-venom, one bandage, and I think, honestly, apart from that, we're pretty much good to go. I'll throw on two more food just to be safe. We still got 2,000 gold in reserve. Half our inventory is already filled, so we'll, you know, make an effort to use this stuff as much as possible. And, you know, that's why I'm taking these salves and the anti-venom and the bandages and stuff like that is so that we can actually use them and get some advantage out of them. Alright, for an explore 90% of rooms layout, this is actually awesome. We'll probably have to go to about here. and we'll, uh, Or we could skip this one and just go all the way to the end and have no backtracking, which is probably smarter. Let's get it on... Stress already coming here. A little scary. Just lost our uh, maximum light bonus, I think. We'll salvage the unburned torch. We're Actually, we're still at 76. We get a little extra stress in dim light. So I'll crank that up and we'll walk into our first room. So far, so good. No encounters here. Alright. So we'll move on to this room. And we'll do like a little serpentine path here. Get ready. Uh, Bear loves opening this shit. I'm surprised he didn't choose to open that. Let's try it out. Um, lock display cabinet. What if we throw a torch on it? That item had no effect. Okay, well, we'll open it then, if you don't mind. I don't really want to throw anti-venom on it. It's trapped! And actually, it would have blighted us. I wonder uh, I wonder if that anti-venom would have saved us there. So we're getting stressed out due to the light now. We'll crank that up, see what we got when we open the door. I am almost hope for a battle at this point. Nope. Nothing at all. All right, we'll move to this room then. So far, so good. Bear gets trapped and uh, damage, but no bleed. That's all right. 
We're getting stressed by the light. That's I'm noticing it's turning red in the background. That's a good thing to pay attention to. Where this lock mechanism is trapped again. You know what? Next one of those we find, maybe we will use the anti venom on it and then open it, and maybe we'll get some reward for it. I assume they wouldn't just make it so it's not trapped. That would be shitty. Ah, oh, we surprised him. This is huge. So we get a free turn. We really want to kill the two units at the back. I almost wish that you didn't get a chance to go first. Um, let's go for the stun on the two units in the front. If we stun them both, good. It does debuff us, but by stunning them both, I really, really like that. Now, Holy Lance has a great chance to get a kill, and it did. What's up? Oh, you're surprised still. Okay. We'll use the Vulnerability Hex. It'll mark the unit, debuff it so it has a lower dodge chance, but mostly I just wanted the damage. Um, I think it still got marked, it just didn't get debuffed. Then, we can do Incision, Plague Grenade, or actually we can throw Blinding Gas out for another stun. But I think we're just gonna do Noxious Blast level 2. It's our main damage dealing attack. Oh, we can't hit that, okay. I guess we'll have to use Plague Grenade. Does 1 to 1. Or Incision on one of these. Eh, uh, we'll just use a Plague Grenade for the poison, it missed anyway. <laughs> no big deal. All right, so this unit is gonna get to go. Hopefully we resist it. Why are we at the front anyway? We shouldn't be at the front, it should be reversed. Um, the heal doesn't matter, so we'll vulnerability hex like another unit, lower their dodge chance. Oh, that unit already had a dodge chance of zero. We should have gone for the other one. That's just bad play. Uh, we'll use blinding gas here. They dodged it, that was gonna be our stun, so that's a little unfortunate. We'll use Barbaric Yawp again to hopefully get a double stun here, and it did work. It debuffs the shit out of our Hellion. Unfortunately, we really only have Smite and Zealous Accusation. 7 to 13, 8 to 15. So we'll take the guaranteed kill on that. Uh, kinda sucks though. I thought we'd be able to Holy Lance. Hopefully this gets a kill. Oh, that's unfortunate. Could deal with some stress damage here. I guess I don't really care about the pushing. It's the stress damage that's annoying. Eldridge pull. You know, if you're going to put Nick at the front, it doesn't really matter. As long as you don't induce stress, I don't give a shit. Nick can use incision anyway. Oh, wow. This unit is proving to be very annoying. There we go. Bear attack, he uses his skull to knock the shit out of them. You might as well just go for the breakthrough. We're going to kill them on the next turn anyway. Might as well get a little stress relief out of the crit, I guess. We got very lucky to dodge that. We probably could have handled this encounter better, to be honest with you. I kind of wanted to go for the heal. Instead, we'll let Bear get two kills there, which is kind of ridiculous considering, you know, he's our healer, but I wish you could just drag units to put them in the right place. Anyway, we want you here, and then we want our Crusader here. This is the way it should be. What do you think about this area right here? What do you think about this coffin? I'm just gonna open it. Hidden treasures. Beautiful. 600 gold is actually kind of a lot. We did get scouting here. Uh, looks like there's some treasure, but not necessarily any bad encounters. That's great, I guess. Why are we still debuffed? Um, we shouldn't be debuffed this long. It doesn't debuff us forever, does it? There we go. It goes off to after a certain amount of time. Got it. Iron uh, Maiden here. I think I'm just going to ignore it, unless Bear decides to open it. The Iron Maidens have a tendency to trap you inside and really increase your stress. There might be great rewards as well, but um, I think the, the cost definitely outweighs it. Just take a free torch. I don't know if I've ever seen this one work out badly, so I'm assuming that it's always good. A little bit of stress damage could come in there. You know, we're getting less rewards. Uh, ooh, that hurts. We're getting less rewards based on the fact that we're in the light all the time, but we're also really actually able to make an, an awesome economy if we succeed as a result of this, so I'm not too mad about it. it looks like there's awesome treasure in that room over there. I don't... Uh, I'll go back for it, because this mission is going very well so far. And we got a lot of resources. I don't like that we've been struck by hunger twice already, I think. That sucks. But, um, we only have to go to 90% of rooms, so I don't think that this is a huge problem. And the ability to get the extra treasure, I mean, that's what we're here for, right? Well, that and, you know, survival and restoring this town, but mostly it's the fucking treasure dog. Torch is still holding up. Ah, I saw the trap. I gotta slow down a little bit. Bear's gonna take a little unnecessary damage as a result. What about books? Who likes books? Nick, you like books? 
Don't burn them. Uh, Bear told me never to burn the books. The knowledge within forever changes the hero. Slayer of the Unholy. Plus 10 accuracy... Attack, sorry. Or is that it? No, it's attack. And plus 3 crit. Maybe it is accuracy. I don't know. Against unholy enemies. He also has hatred of unholy, so that's pretty awesome. Damage is DMG. ACC is accuracy. I apologize. I'm a little bit of an idiot sometimes with respect to this stuff. I expect an encounter here along with some treasure. Yeah, okay. We don't have a key, though. Can we even open that? I hope so. Tempting Goblet is going to stress the shit out out of us. The shit out out of us. Whirl is high damage. Especially if it fucking crits. Alright. Bear is going to heal Nick. It ended up being slightly better than neutral. Oh my god. You're going to crit him twice in a row? That's just horseshit and you know it. We got to Holy Lance the shit out of these guys at the back. 8 to 15. Oh, come on with that. Get the double stun at the back at least. 90%, 83%. Please stun. Good, 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 good. So we don't have to worry about their bullshit on the next turn at least. Honestly, the breakthrough kind of sucks. 3 to 7 damage. Maybe, can we just hit the one in third place? No. I don't really want to debuff myself to stun the ones at the front. Otherwise, we're using two units to stun every turn. And if something goes wrong, that sucks. These guys have such little damage. Two breakthroughs should be able to kill them. And maybe if we get lucky, we'll get the Arbalist as well. From the start of this run of the game, James West Tame in the West. So remember the name, obviously. Um, stuns are going to wear off here. Graveyard Slash is annoying. Oh, it actually hit. And it did eight damage without critting, which blows my mind. Nick, you're going to use these bandages. You can't afford to bleed anymore. We're going to blinding gas the people at the back. It did hit them, and they are both stunned again. We're going to break through, hopefully for some kills. No, but it's going to take him close, for sure. Bear is going to heal Nick. Gives him bleed, but it does do eight. That's all right. Uh, I think we got to go Zealous Accusation for two kills here. And now we only have to deal with these two guys at the back, who are stunned already. This should be much easier. Bear, you are going to heal Nick again. He's already bleeding. Five. That's pretty good. Now, you're not going to be able to attack anything outside of uh, Incision or Noxious Blast. Noxious Blast, 3 to 6, plus it will do 2 Blight. Or 5 to 9, but it will do some Bleed. I think you got to go 5 to 9 with the Bleed. Nick is going to become a stone-cold fucking killer for us here. I guarantee it. After a little bit of time, that encounter went better. It started out not so good. So too Heirloom chest. The contents are yours. Thankfully, that was not trapped. 300 gold. You know, you can make an argument that that wasn't really worth it. I'm not going back this way for the treasure. We're going to go back towards the way we were going. Hopefully, uh, our expedition there means we have a little bit less... Uh, man, that's a lot of hunger so far. Hopefully, our expedition thus far means we have uh, a little bit fewer rooms to go to. We're going to end up taking some starvation damage. I think there's pretty much no way around it. We took a lot of food. Do we have a stress eater? No? No? Someone here's got to be a stress eater. Obsessed with cleanliness. No, a ruminator. Not, that's, you know, sometimes that's associated with food. Not in this case, though. I guess we're just getting uh, some fairly unlucky dice rolls, but the mission is going pretty well so far. I cannot tell a lie. All right. So we have another uh, section that's novel to us coming up. So we're going to hopefully get an Umber and Torch here. Took a little stress damage. We shouldn't be taking much yet. We can wait, walk like one more section. Oh my god, hunger again. Did you guys not eat before we went into the fucking dungeon? Food's going to be a little scarce down here. I don't really want to burn another torch right now, but I will just for the increased the surprise on monsters. Promise of safety. Nothing. Okay, this is fine. We will camp at some point, even though we'll have no freaking food with which to do it. We will uh, we'll camp at some point for the stress relief, at least. These guys are going to be uh, faster unless they're surprised. They are surprised, so we should be able to kill them without any trouble at all. Just using AoEs. Yeah, we have one HP total left on them right here, so... Um, you know what, Bear? Why don't you just finish them off? I don't know if that gives you any more experience, but the stress relief is useful on you. Holy water used to purge evil and restore purity. What if we use it on this, uh... Oh, never mind. 
She's going into the confession booth. Don't do it! The hero's history of sin is too much to bear, plus 15 stress. Uh, it's probably not going to kill us. Annoying, though. All right. Maybe an encounter in here? I'm surprised, actually. We're actually getting fairly close to the end of the mission, and we haven't used our uh, our log yet. Sax contents are yours. A thousand gold. Pretty good. Might as well... G <sighs> we only have four food. Starved. Take stress damage and 20% of your HP. We're gonna end up having that happen at some point. I'm just hoping that we encounter an encounter that gives us uh, extra extra food. Which happens all the time, but we haven't had it happen in a while, unfortunately. I don't want to camp, because if we camp, we're definitely going to... Uh, uh, we're definitely going to have to eat food, right? Like, we, we take a hunger penalty, I think, if we don't. Maybe a surprise? No. Hopefully we just have good speed. They have 10 HP each. With 10 HP each, I think we're just going to go for a smite. I was going to say, pretty good chance for a kill, so I think it's an okay decision. Bump in the night. Eh, it does some decent damage, but we can we can live with it. Don't attack the same unit twice. That's just bad manners. They're going to have to get healed. Kate gets bled, but she heals for 12. Okay, that's huge. We might actually want to go with a, a breakthrough here. Let's see, who Nick still has to go. I think if we break through, Nick can get a kill, two enemies will go. Whereas if we go for the stun, who knows how that's going to work out. It could work, and it could be great, but one unit is still probably going to get to attack. Now, you know what, let's try this. Let's, let's go for the stun. I talked myself into it, even though it does debuff us. Okay, got two stuns out of it. And then Nick can go for uh, blinding gas on the unit at the back. Alright, so they do still have one unit that'll go, but his turn was recent, so our speed should work out in our favor here. Or not. Okay, that happens sometimes too. This time, rather than going for the stun, I think Nick should go for a kill. Probably via incision. 90. Yeah, 90% chance seems like a good choice. And then we've got two AoEs attack two AoE attacks on the stunned units. Honestly, I think since uh, Kate's already bleeding, you might as well try to heal her. Uh, I think that'll probably heal. They were already bleeding, so what does it matter? We'll do Zealous Accusation. And then uh, a Breakthrough should be enough to get the kill here. They have three and one, mm, in all likelihood. Oh, that's so bad! If it had just been reversed, they wouldn't have had one more turn. Oh, they're not going to get one anyway. Smite for the highest uh, percentage chance to hit, I think, and a, a relatively good encounter. Remind yourself that overconfidence Now, we'll remember that uh, we should use a killer. torch. In order to lower the stress damage that we're taking here. It's a lot easier to manage stress now that I actually, you know, who would have thought, understand the mechanics of the game a little bit better. You're getting a lot of scouting here as well. Oh, that's going to be an encounter, isn't it? Two encounters on the way here. Well, if we're going to have two encounters, let's camp now. Uh, we can't eat anything. That's going to hurt. Maybe we just shouldn't have done the camping, honestly. We need to lower stress and we need to heal. Bear can heal. I think he should heal himself. Yeah, wound care. Oh, you can't do it on yourself. Okay. Uh, heal Kate then. Nick, you heal Bear. Oh, man. Three is not so much, but that's because of his HP. 75% chance of healing for 50%. Try that on yourself. Oh, you can't. Try that on... Try that on Bear. Hey! That's pretty good. Probably should have done that. <clears throat> Pardon me to begin with, but that's okay. We got four left. Um, is there any way to reduce... Uh, you just buff yourself. We should reduce stress. Reduce stress on Kate by ten. And um, is there anybody else we can just guaranteed reduce stress on? I think this one's okay. Raise everybody else's stress stress by 5 to lower his by 25. That's not that bad. Everyone should be able to stay under here. We got no abilities left to use. That's fine. Whoo. Um, we might be a little uh, low on torches as, as the rest of the thing goes on, but uh, it won't be too long before the end of the mission. Okay, so we got ambushed, which is bullshit, but we got ambushed with medium light. No surprises? Oh, big surprises. Our Crusader at the back is not what we want. Not, on a, not a too terrible bump in the night. 
it, it adds up over time. Nick, you are the greatest of all time. Thank you for that stress relief, buddy. Bear is going to heal Kate. She resisted the bleeding, got healed for seven. I'm actually kind of glad we're having an encounter now. Wicked hack will get a kill if it lands, and it did. Bone Soldier. Great name. Well, there goes the uh, the heal that we got. It's got him. Basically, no other choice but to move the Crusader up. Bear is going to heal Kate again. She resisted the bleeding, got 11. Oh, life is good. All right. Nick with the guaranteed kill because he's a badass. Now, he missed the, the fatal shot, but that's okay. He just wanted to make sure Kate got a last hit, so she felt good about things this as well. A little stress relief for her. Success. Let's get everybody moved appropriately. The way is lit. The path is clear. Didn't we want... We require only the strength no, we wanted forward. Nick in the middle. Like, yeah, in the third spot. Okay, I think this is pretty good. We're moving down, and our light is back where it should be. How's our torch situation? Six. Oh, okay. We're fine. I'm worried about starvation. Please tell me that we surprise them. No. All right. They could they could stun lock our team. Now they cannot stun lock our team. Now they cannot even stun lock half of our team. I think, honestly, on this, we want to roll AoE attacks. We'll go for a heal, maybe on Nick. He resisted the bleed and got healed basically to max. Um, but the AoE attacks here should very easily take these guys out in two turns. So, like, breakthrough. Already got one kill. And then uh, Zealous Accusation will pick up these two. And then Nick, maybe even with Incision, will just, yeah, knock him out of the game very early. Super easy. Didn't get any rewards for it, but uh, truth be told, maybe we didn't deserve any rewards for it because it was relatively easy as is. Moving into our next area. Okay, please surprise. Yes, that means we get to go first. Even if we don't shuffle them, getting to go first is huge here. We're going to Holy Lance, one of the ones at the back. That kill is going to save us probably like 30 stress for our team, which is crazy. I think, honestly, we go for Blinding Gas, even though it's only going to hit one unit, or it's going to hit zero, but we tried anyway. Um, Bear's going to go for the heal on the Crusader. Resisted the bleed and got healed uh, enough. Bear in the... It's a great uh, expression, but Bear being in the back spot here uh, does make it so that if he doesn't have to heal, he doesn't have to be in the back spot. But at the same time... Um, it, it, I think it's better to have Nick in the middle where he can do a bunch of good stuff. So we can't use Holy Lance. We can't smite who I want to smite. So I think we'll zealously accuse those two units at the front. We are going to get stuck with a little bit of stress damage on Nick here. Could be worse. Um, I think we got to try for the kill. So we'll Noxious... We can't Noxious Blast you? Ah. Uh, well, if we can't Noxious Blast, I'm just going to try to Blinding Gas you then. And then I think we'll go for a breakthrough, which should get at least the first two kills here. I got one, probably because we debuffed ourselves, but that's okay. They might get a skeleton attack before we can go. Nope. Um, we'll Noxious Blast the unit at the back, and that means no stress damage, which means you are in for a pretty terrible time, my friend. Another pretty easy one. And I don't think our inventory is going to be full here either. Our quest is complete, but honestly... I feel like we should probably do a little bit more exploration here. You know, we can't take our provisions with us. We already spent money on them. We might as well try to get a little bit more money out of them. And uh, immediately we have a pretty good option here. What? Did I not use the... Sh I didn't use the shovel. So I let everybody take so much freaking stress. Oh, fight me. I wish I could. Now, like, all of these units are going to require a little bit of stress relief. And purpose is made clear. So stupid. No, no, no. I was going to put some holy water on it. Before you opened it, you idiot! No bandages? Nope. All right. He's going to take a little damage. That's all right. What about this? Don't do it again. You learn your lesson. Okay? I'll open it. Sack's contents are yours. 25 gold. Not that good. And this will, uh, this will be our last room. Hope it doesn't have enemies. Or maybe I hope it does. Nope. We're done. Could have been better. I, I bunged it all up. It was a great mission that I fucked up at the very end. That's my my problem. I apologize for that. Well, we got 6,000 treasure. Enough to give us some stress relief and still improve ourselves. Um, yeah, we'll move on. Let's see what we got here. Everybody got something. Amateur 
armor smith. Minus 20% armor upgrade cost. Good. Obsessed with the paranormal. That seems like that could backfire, but we did level up. Steady. Plus 10% stress resist. That seems pretty good. And you get speed when you're low on health. All right. I can dig it. I think that's pretty okay. I remember what else happened? Math is 2.0 is good. We leveled up. We heard from the tavern. And that was the only stress relief we had. Oh my god, we have so much money too. Okay. I mean, those missions that we're doing are really only allowing us to upgrade the Abbey, which kind of sucks. But the Abbey's getting some pretty good love, you gotta admit. Let's get uh, our Cloister and our Transept upgraded a again. A robe, claiming communion with I'm not sure if it looks any better, but anyway. Madness. We have enough money that we can absorb that bullshit and uh, have stress relief work out for us. He's not allowed to visit the brothel. Uh, we're going to put Kate in uh, the cloister. Oh, she she can't. She has to go to the prayer. Okay, that's fine. Um, she needs stress relief. Bear needs stress relief. What are his quirks? Won't drink. That's the only thing that really matters. So we'll put him in uh, the cloister. Nick? Obsessed with cleanliness. I don't know how that would help. But uh, I'm going to throw Nick in the tavern then he can go to the gambling hall can't upgrade any of this stuff unfortunately uh, myself I'm doing okay but if we're healing the whole A team why don't we heal the whole A team then I don't know how much stress do you actually have 38 if it was like 31 I probably would have said uh, no we're okay but with the uh, with 38, that's closer to 50 than I'd like, so I'll throw you in there. That's a lot of money we just spent. Let's go to the guild. Rob is our go-to grave robber. So let's throw him up here and see if we can upgrade him a little bit. Uh, what are his moves? We've already upgraded flashing daggers, which I think is pretty good. Lunge? I don't think is that amazing. I think we should unlock pick to the face. That makes him a very viable third slot option if we have a healer in the back. Remap combat skills. So they can only have four at a time. <clears throat> I would like to take, like, Toxin Trickery out. And put this in. Although, you know what? Poison Dart isn't that effective. If we have nothing to do, at least we could use Toxin Trickery on ourselves. Uh, I don't think we need to upgrade anything. Else. Upgrading Pick for 540 might not be a bad idea. Does a lot of damage. Uh, and Mathis is our go-to... Mathis 2.0, I should say, is our go-to highwayman. Should he be? He has Wicked Slice, Pistol Shot, Grape Shot, Duelist's Advanced. Or Duelist's Advance. What about Azor? I kind of like all of Azor's abilities, but at the same point, or at the same time, there's basically no reason for him to have Open Vein, because I'll be using Wicked Slice almost all the time, because it is a damage modifier of negative on Open Vein. Yes, it does do bleed, but so what? Um, what is point blank shot? It only works if you're in the number one spot, but it does knock back. Take aim is a buff. Duelist advance. I think we might as well just keep Mathis 2.0. I think he's a little better. And we'll put him in here. We've already upgraded grape shot. Oh, we have not? I probably upgraded on the first Mathis who then got killed. Honestly, I use all these skills. I'm going to upgrade all three of them. I'm also going to take a quick look at our situation here. We do have a vessel. Okay, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to fire somebody. Probably our Hellion that we haven't used yet, because our roster is full right now. Um, and you're going to get fired. And we're going to hire our vessel instead. A sister of battle. And we'll name people when we go out on our next mission. But for now, that's going to be the end of this one. Thanks for watching. That one went pretty well as well. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.